Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, TV Support, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, what a day it has been for Zombies fans, you guys know I typically cover multiplayer stuff here on the channel, but I feel as though all of today's news does tie into the multiplayer, at least a little bit, so we finally got a trailer for Blood of the Dead, which is a remake of Mob of the Dead from Black Ops 2, for those who don't know, we got a bunch of details about the new classified zombies map, we have some insanely expensive zombie statues that are up for pre-order as of right now, and there's even a new bundle for for Black Ops 4 called the Mystery Box Edition. The Mystery Box Edition of Black Ops 4 costs $200 and gives you everything you see on your screen right now and lots of Zombies fans are super hyped about this. They're also pretty hyped about the new statues that I mentioned earlier. So like I said, these are pretty expensive but they are hand painted, they are limited edition, they are 14 inches tall and feature a ton of detail but if you're wondering just how expensive these are, they are $250 each which means if you want the full set, you're going to need to drop $1,000, which is way too rich for my blood, but I figured I should still cover it here in this video because lots of Zombies fans are very interested in these statues. And speaking of things that fans are interested in, I mentioned earlier that we now have some more details about the classified bonus Zombies map. It turns out that it is indeed going to be set in the Pentagon. It's going to be a remake of 5, which we've known about for a while, but they did reveal today that the original Zombies crew of the original Richthof and Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio will be playing on the map itself. And apparently, this remake is going to fill in the gaps and explain the impact that the original 5 map had on the story, because the first time around, it didn't do a great job of doing that. So, Jason Blundell said that this map is going to send some ripples through the community, which is definitely some very good news for Zombies fans. But the downside to all of today's news is not so much what was announced and what was revealed, but rather what was not announced, right? And I said this has something to do with the multiplayer, and here's where that comes into play. Everybody is super stoked about all the new Zombies content, and all the new zombies details, but everybody seems to be forgetting that Activision still has not made any changes to the Black Ops Pass or the DLC model with Black Ops 4. This is exactly what I was talking about in one of my videos last week. Activision is trying to make everybody forget about the Black Ops Pass. They're trying to forget about the Black Ops Pass backlash. They want all that to blow over, and after seeing the reaction today, it seems like they may actually succeed. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying that we should boycott the game and not pre-order. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be excited for the game. I'm not saying that we should not get the mystery box edition or the new statues or anything like that. We're all adults. We're all free to spend our money how we wish. I'm just saying that Activision is trying to make everybody forget about the Black Ops Pass and just accept it as part of the game. And it seems to be working as of right now because the mystery box edition, while it is cool and there's lots of really great content in there, it's still just a $200 edition of the game that features the Black Ops Pass. And last month, everybody and their mother was making outrage videos and tweets about the Black Ops Pass. But this month, everybody's dropping $200 on a special edition of the game and setting aside $1,000 to buy some statues and stuff like that, right? Like, it's a really weird situation. I really don't want to see the Black Ops Pass backlash just become last month's news story, right? I want people to continue with this. It's a really weird situation we find ourselves in right now, and I'm definitely interested to see how things are going to play out from here. We do know for a fact that Treyarch's community manager, Rob Smith, has said time and time again over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit that they are listening to feedback regarding the Black Ops Pass and he says they will give us some information soon, but he's been saying that for over a month now, and I'm beginning to wonder if we're ever going to get an announcement of any kind. And once again, just to be clear, I want people to be excited for this game. I want people to buy whatever edition they feel like buying. I want people to get all the collectibles they possibly can. Like, I love this stuff too. Like, I still have my original Black Ops 1 bandana. I still have my Modern Warfare 3 patches and all the stuff from pre-ordering all the other Call of Duty games. I'm just saying that I hope that the excitement for this game does not inadvertently ruin the entire game, right? I'm worried that the Black Ops Pass backlash is really just going to blow over. I'm worried that people are going to forget about it, they're going to stop talking about it, they're going to stop fighting for it, because if that happens, then we're going to be right back at square one in regards to DLC here in the Call of Duty franchise. So, like I said, it's a very interesting situation. It really does seem like Activision is going to put out a lot more bundles. Like, I imagine there's going to be a big multiplayer bundle that is going to be just like this Zombies one, and they're probably going to announce it once we get closer to the beta which, by the way, guys, we're like two weeks away from the beta. It's a very interesting time to be a Call of Duty fan, and as always, I will keep you guys posted with more news and more details as this story develops. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts and feedback on all of today's news down there in the comment section below, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.